it's not personal. You know, I never let anyone read my work until it's finished. Writing is, is a, a sacred thing, private. I totally respect that. I would never let anyone read my journal. It's just, it's way too intimate. See, I love dating a writer, too. You kept me. You kept me as a writer? And you loved that. So can you at least tell me what your new play is about? Of course. My ex-girlfriend, Katya. Who cares? It's not like he's sleeping with her. It's like we're both sleeping with her. Like she's right there in the room with us. I knew a Katya once. She was hot. Not helping. I thought listening to the clacking of his typewriter as I fell asleep was romantic. Little did I know that the clacks were conjuring up some tall, hot dicks of me. Katya. It sounds like a three, but that's fun. If your man brings a bombshell into the bedroom named Katya, you might as well get some good sex out of it. Thankfully, we haven't had sex yet. What? You and we were calling that sex? We were pretty much as close to it as you can get. What are you waiting for? A rich Arab? Never fake your virginity with an Arab, by the way. They have ways to suss it out of you. I was thinking of faking the opposite with Weaver, pretending I'm not a virgin. You haven't told him you're a virgin. No, and I don't plan on it. I made such a big deal out of it with Sebastian. I mean, it was just a mess. I don't want my lingering virginity to put pressure on my relationship with Weaver. So if you have sex with Weaver, how do you plan on faking your not virginity? Well, I figure pain and pleasure sound sort of safe. Grunting is grunting. Just don't scream out. Anyway, I'm not even sure I want to have sex with someone who's still intimately involved with his ex. I mean, even if it is just in his imagination. When you're in a new relationship, you have to mentally and physically cut all ties with exes. I don't know. I mean, maybe in some cases it is possible to be friends with an ex. Like me and Sebastian? No, not like me and Sebastian. We are the opposite case. There's just too much pain and wreckage between us. Yet we're respectful, yet distant. Like when we pass through the hallways, we just keep our heads down, not ever so slightly, and keep walking. I remember how awkward it was in high school when you run into an ex. I had to quit Spanish after sleeping with Senor Gomez. And English. And history. High school's just full of opportunities. Yes, it is. But not to sleep with the faculty. Or even yourself. That is why I am president of the Homecoming Committee. It's not my thing. But I will put up with a bunch of idiot cheerleaders with pom-poms to beef up my...